Hi there! After this lesson, you should be able to add and subtract expressions in scientific notation. Did you know there are roughly 275 million cars registered in the United States? And there are only 34 million registered in Canada. How many more cars are registered in the United States? We can answer this question with the help of scientific notation. But first, let's take a look at a few other examples. The ability to rewrite expressions is key to adding and subtracting expressions in scientific notation. For example, we can rewrite 5.8 times 10 to the third several different ways. If we make the first factor smaller by a power of 10 by moving the decimal one place to the left, we just have to make the power of 10 on the right larger by one to make up for it. In each case, both expressions are still equal to 5,800. Remember, it is about changing the way the expression looks, not changing the value. We can move the decimal to the left once more. Just make sure to add another power of 10 to the second factor. Smaller by a power of 10, larger by a power of 10. And the same is true if we want to make the first factor larger. We can move the decimal once to the right, but then we would have to subtract a power of 10. We can continue this as needed. Rewrite each expression below by filling in the blanks. All right, for part A, we see the decimal was moved one place to the left, or it got smaller by one power of 10. Therefore, to keep the value the same, we must add one power of 10 to get 10 to the fourth power. For part B, the decimal moved two places to the right, making the number larger by two powers of 10. Therefore, we must subtract two powers of 10 to get 10 to the first. Lastly, we see that the power of 10 for part C gets smaller by one power, resulting in 10 to the sixth. Therefore, we must make the first factor larger by one power of 10 to get 38. Great job. Now, let's take a look at an example. Here is an addition problem. You'll notice we are adding two expressions written in scientific notation. It may be helpful to circle these from the beginning. Now, before we continue, you will want to note that in order to add or subtract numbers in scientific notation, the powers of 10 must be the same. We can either take away two powers of 10 in the first expression or add two powers of 10 in the second expression. It doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and add two powers of 10 in the second expression. This will become the 10 to the fourth power. Since the power of 10 got larger by two powers of 10, I must make the first factor in the expression smaller by two powers of 10. I can easily do this by moving the decimal point two places to the left. I will bring down the rest of the problem. Now, I add the first factors. Seven plus three hundredths equals seven and three hundredths. And then I will keep the common power of 10, or 10 to the fourth. Our answer is seven and three hundredths times 10 to the fourth power, or 70,300, depending whether you want the answer in scientific notation or standard notation. Let's go back to our car problem. We know there are 275 million registered cars in the US and 34 million cars in Canada. How many more cars are registered in the United States than Canada? To figure this out, we will subtract the number of cars in Canada from the number in the US. To do so, let's first write each number in scientific notation. Great, now we must manipulate one of the expressions so that it has the same power of 10 as the other. Let's go ahead and take one power of 10 away from the first expression. We now have 10 to the seventh power. Since this power is getting smaller, we must move the decimal of the first factor to the right to make this factor larger 
by a power of 10. The result is 27 and 5 tenths. Now, we'll bring down the rest of the problem. 27 and 5 tenths minus 3 and 4 tenths is equal to 24 and 1 tenth. And we keep the common 10 to the 7th power. We want our answer in scientific notation, so this first factor must be greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. So, I will move the decimal point one place to the left to get 2 and 41 hundredths. Since this factor got smaller by 1 power of 10, we must remember to add 1 power of 10 to the second power. We get 10 to the 8th power. There are 2 and 41 hundredths times 10 to the 8th power more cars registered in the United States than Canada. Okay, your turn. Evaluate each expression below. Be sure to pause this video to give yourself some time to work. Okay, first, we must get the powers of 10 to be the same. I will add one power of 10 here to get 10 to the fifth power. I must then manipulate the first factor by moving the decimal point one space to the left to get 6 tenths. Copy down the rest of the problem, and we see the powers of 10 are now the same. 6 tenths plus 5 is equal to 5 and 6 tenths. And we multiply by the common power of 10, or 10 to the fifth. This is our answer in scientific notation. But if you want your answer in standard notation, simplify the expression to get 560,000. For part B, I will choose to add two powers of 10 over here on the right to get 10 to the ninth power. In doing so, I must make the first factor smaller by two powers of 10 to get two hundredths. I will copy down the rest of the problem. 7 and 4 tenths minus 2 hundredths is equal to 7 and 38 hundredths. Remember to keep that common power of 10. This is our answer in scientific notation, or in standard notation, the answer is 7,380,000,000. Great job! Mm -hmm.